Welcome to the tutorial series for the SDJ4000. In this video, we will go over MIDI control. In addition to its standalone player capabilities, the SDJ4000 is also a fully functional MIDI controller to be used with your favorite DJ software. You can find an officially supported map for Virtual DJ on their website, linked below, so you can get going in Virtual DJ right away. It is possible to control other DJ software, such as Tractor or Mix, but you would need to map the controls manually. One feature you won't find on many standalone controllers, the SDJ4000 has split MIDI modes, allowing for half of the unit to control MIDI software, while the other half can still play from the SDJ's internal decks or rear input, allowing for the ultimate hybrid experience of standalone plus MIDI. You must have Virtual DJ installed in your computer to follow this tutorial. The Virtual DJ LE license comes with the SDJ4000. If you not already have it installed, please download from virtualdj.com. Power on the SDJ4000 and connect to computer via USB cable. On the SDJ4000, press MIDI twice to enter MIDI mode. Launch Virtual DJ. You will receive a prompt to select where your speakers are connected. If you're using computer speakers, select computer. Selecting SDJ4000 will route the audio to the SDJ's rear master output. You should now be able to control all functions of Virtual DJ from the SDJ4000. Due to the differences between Virtual DJ and the SDJ4000's native software, there are a couple of functions inside Virtual DJ that behave a bit differently than in standalone mode that I will go over now. To swap decks between A and C on the left or B and D on the right, hold down the shift button on the corresponding deck. You will see the deck focus change on the Virtual DJ screen. The booth knob is now your cue mix. The effects source knob will jump around the different effects units inside of Virtual DJ, Master Effects, Deck A, B, C, and D. Monitor the Virtual DJ screen to see which effects unit is being selected before making adjustments. The Virtual DJ default mapping is a great starting place, but the beauty of using MIDI controllers with DJ software is that they are fully customizable. Feel free to customize the mapping to suit your needs. As mentioned earlier, you can map the SDJ4000 to control any DJ software or DAW that accepts MIDI via USB. We'd love to hear about your experience using the SEJ4000. Please don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team, and be sure to follow our social pages to keep informed on what we're up to. Thanks, and take care.